Howdy, 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 Diz Jabbers. Christian's back, and you know what time it is. It is Saturday night at 8 p.m. Well, it's like 8.05. It's 8 p.m., and we are on season three, episode six. Now, I have given you a whole bunch of YouTubers and Instagrammers and Etsy shop owners and vloggers and all that good stuff. But tonight, I was able to find you a diamond in the rough. Yep, I'm using an Aladdin quote, a diamond in the rough, because I was searching on, on Instagram and on YouTube, and this vlogger just jumped out at me. I was like, what? I watched her vlogs. I watched some of her life hacks. and oh, She does everything. She unboxes. She does food reviews. She goes to Disney. She lives in Texas, and she has all kinds of things that she does. She makes it work, even though she's not in the parks 24-7. Unfortunately, neither am I, so I'm totally going to learn something from her. Her name is Kayla, and her channel, Kayla in the Kingdom. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's bring her in. <laughs> Kayla, she's, <laughs> she's laughing. She froze. Guys, she's as nervous as we all are. <laughs> Kayla, thank you for being here. She's like, crap, man. Thanks for Am I on me. right now? <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Is this on? Guys, she's been talking to me about how nervous she is about being on here. But we all know as Diz Jabber's chat moves on and moves on that it's just a rip rolling, rip rolling. Rip. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's a great, great time. We're going to have a blast. Kayla, thank you so much for being here tonight, taking the time out of your schedule. Now, this is how I start the show. I know you're not too familiar. You've seen a few episodes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how I fell in love with your channel. Can you deal with that? Yeah, I'm down. Perfect. Okay, so I saw you on YouTube. 
looked you up, Instagram, message, you know, all that other good stuff. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh, hey, hi, thank you for liking my stuff. And then we started talking and now you're here. Then I said, I have to do my homework. Started watching your vlogs. The first vlog is your getting to know you tag vlog. Your very first thing you ever, I know, the very <laughs> first one you ever did. And do you, let me tell you what stood out to me. You told, you said on there that you were making a movie, a horror movie with your brother. <laughs> oh God, I remember that. Okay. And in my head, I'm picturing this. I'm picturing you with the Iron Man mask, right? And then I'm picturing, and do you, wait, do you have video of that, by the way? We used to way back in the day, we had like this really old channel and it was everything end up getting taken down after a while. But if I ever find it again, it'll be up because it was I gold. Need I need to <laughs> gold. see it. She said, she, I mean, it's one of those moments where you were like, you wish you had your camera, but she totally did. <laughs> Iron Man mask. What were you wearing on your body? A skeleton outfit or a- It was a like a, it was like a, a devil costume, yes. like with devil a devil costume, red Iron hood. Man. This is like a Willy Bobo put together outfit. Iron Man, devil, wait, holding a whisk, <laughs> a whisk. And what, what were the words you said when you <laughs> opened the door? Time to die. Time to die. The worst, it would have been considered like totally B rated. It was insane. We had, it was based off of basically we were, it was just me and him, my little brother, and we were watching a movie and we had made popcorn and someone came knocking on the door and when he opened the door, it was me in an Iron Man mask and a devil costume holding up a whisk saying, it's time to die. And it was probably the funniest thing ever. And the best thing that you said in that vlog, you said a lot of great things, but you said it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be like a great movie. It would be like a B rated movie. Like she was expecting to make a movie that would be like Oscar, uh, Oscar award winning. Oh, okay. The next vlog, when you guys, when you and Michael, Michael it is? Yes. When you and Michael, and by the way, please tell him we thank him for his service, right? Thank you. No problem. When you and Michael decided to let the people in front of you order the food, like you, you were gonna get whatever they got. But Kayla, it's not even the food that intrigued me. It's what you guys found on the lawn. I know where this is going. <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's going to poop is exactly where it's going. When Michael said, it looks like some guy just you know squatted out there and pinched one off, I lost it. I lost it. And then you're just like, and you're ready to eat. You, I don't think you were caring until he said something like along the lines of, I'm kind of questioning the food now that we're about to eat. And then there was like a moment, like a Jesus moment for you. Like, oh, oh my God, no. you're, right. you're right. What is that about? Does that look like somebody like, do you see where we are? That's probably exactly what it is. Like squatted real quick. and was like, oh, and pinched it off. See look, right there. Is that a turd? I don't know. It was awful. And you guys do some really awesome things. Michael's not always on the stream with you. He's not always on the vlogs. You do a lot of stuff on your own, unboxings and reviews. And wait, my other favorite, I've never seen anyone vlog what they got from Dollar Tree. Okay. <laughs> and Walmart, was it Walmart? I was like Walmart, Target, everywhere. What? I just like do Dollar everything. Tree. She's like, all right, here's my haul from Dollar Tree. <laughs> For the first half of this, we're gonna talk about what I got at Dollar Tree. And this is everything I got from Dollar Tree. I will break it down for you. Not a lot of people trust the groceries at Dollar Tree, but my thing is I only get things that I would normally get other places. I don't compromise. <laughs> like, this is genius. She's She makes gold out of rags. I'm telling you, this girl is legit. Please do me a favor. Can you please everyone go and subscribe to Kayla in the Kingdom? She's a fantastic YouTuber, up and coming. She has this Jabbers 71's num kind of numbers in the subs. But the thing is, she is rocking it right now. And I need everyone to go find her, go subscribe and totally watch her videos because you'll give her the viewing time. You'll give her the numbers she needs. And this is fantastic that I have her on this show. So Kayla, I have monopolized enough of their time and your time. So it's now 
your turn to talk. So our first segment on Div Jabber's chat is always, who are you? So what we want to know is, what made you pick up that camera and say, I want to vlog? What made you get that love for Disney or all things like YouTube-ish? I'd love to hear it. Oh, wow. This goes way, 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 way back. Back when back. YouTube very first started, actually. My little brother and I, we were like obsessed with cameras. Like we had this really old video camera we used to carry around all the time. We used to make these movies. Um, the horror movie was one of them. And it's, that was kind of when I got started with YouTube, everything YouTube. And then I took like a ton of film classes in right. high school and movies and all that. And then my husband got deployed and I was like, well, I need something to do while he's gone. And then this channel was born. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty much how that happened. So it just, it came from boredom. More or less just me trying to keep myself busy for nine months while he was gone. And I had like two really small kids at the time. So. Oh my God. So you did this all on your own. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> now your channel primarily is lots of stuff with like, like life hacks and Disney hacks, what to do things, you know, top rated things. I, I mean, guys, there is a, there's a ton, a whole slew of stuff she does, but I noticed that there is a Disney-ish kind of theme to a lot of your stuff. Yes. So obviously you're a Disney person. Oh, yeah. um, so where did that love of Disney come from? It's just always been there. I don't know. I like mostly grew up like with my grandma. She's like my best friend. And she is a huge, huge Disney person. So that's just been kind of beat into my head ever since I was born, okay. I guess. <laughs> it's the best though. I love it. She loves Disney just like we all do, guys. Kayla, we are going to show some clips of your vlogs throughout the show. I hope that's okay with you because we totally want to showcase you. She's like, you know what, Christian? You do you, man. You do whatever you want. I'm just here for the fun. And yep. that's what we're going to have. So you know what? That was the shortest who are you segment I've ever had. But she is a short and to the point kind of person, just like I am a tall and long drawn out kind of person. So. Here's what we're going to do next. We're going to jump right into the mix with something you guys all know I love to do. And this is called the eyes have it. Now, Kayla, I, I think I messaged you um, when I messaged you a couple weeks back. I told you my channel does trivia on Friday nights. Yes. You remember that? Yes. And you couldn't make it to trivia. And I said, that's totally cool. Maybe one night you could show up. This is one of the segments I have on trivia. It's called the eyes have it. Now, what I did for you. I asked you, like I asked all my guests, for your top five favorite movies, top five favorite characters, and top five favorite songs. Now, granted, Diz Jabbers, you know what she texted me back? This is really hard. I don't <laughs> know if I can do this. How can you not? It's your top five. You should be able to rattle those off. But with Disney, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, like it changes weekly, Disney movies. Like in my head, I might love Zootopia this week, but next week it might all be Mulan. You know yeah. what I mean? It just depends on your mood. It depends on what's happening that week, that month, or what Disney Plus is showing. It's all, it's all good because what I did for you, I took your top five favorite movies. I grabbed a bunch of characters out of there, and I just took little snippets of their eyes. What you have to do is tell me the characters' names, who those eyes belong to. You think you can oh. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not good with faces. Did you? Yeah. Well, you don't get the whole face, darling. You just get the eyes. Oh, no. Oh, my. Now she's like, I want off. Get me up we'll now, see. please. We'll see what happens, okay? Can right. I make any promises? Here we go. She's, she's not making promises, but we know she's going to slam this. Let's see. And you are not timed. Don't worry. Okay. Sometimes I time people when they think, you know, they think their blank doesn't stink. And I'm like, oh, really? Let's see how you do on this. But you are a sweetheart. No timer for you. And I'll even help you a little bit. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Start crying now. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. Christian, these aren't, wait, that is my favorite movie, but I don't know who that is. You pick people whose names I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I pick people whose names nobody knows. <laughs> I know like who they are though. Does, does that count? All right, help me out then. Let's do it. Okay, the first one, blonde girl, uh, yep. is Tiana's best friend. Okay, what's her name? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Good. Um, good. Oh my God, what is her name? 
we'll go over them after. That's all right. So you I have, don't know what her name is. So Tiana's best friend. Who's under Tiana's best friend? Um, Jumba. Jumba. Oh, oh you, Jumba. you're <laughs> kidding with me. You know these. I know you Jumba. Know I don't. I don't. I cannot think of her name. Oh, it's okay. It's it's Charlotte LaBeouf or Charlotte oh. LaBeouf or something. I, I, it's Charlotte though. It's Charlotte. Just it's right okay. out of my brain. Kayla, who's that old man with the glasses? He is from Mary Poppins. What's his name? And oh, he, he he's the laughing guy. Yeah, he does. Oh. He laughs. I love to laugh. Ha, 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 ha. He's right? the laughing guy. He's okay, so we're gonna go float. with. <laughs> yes, they float. Oh my, we're talking Pennywise. They all float down here. I don't know which movie we're talking about right now. All right, we're totally talking about Mary Poppins, and I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out. His name is Uncle. You lost me. Um, Uncle what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, it starts with an A. Uncle. Uh. I don't, oh, know. I don't know what his name is. <laughs> I don't know. All right. He's, he's Uncle Albert. <laughs> Uncle Albert. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. And these are her favorite movies, everyone. All right. What about under what about under Uncle Albert? Oh, you really picked everybody whose name I don't know. Oh no. Oh, I couldn't. Would you think I'm gonna give you Mike Wazowski with one eye? No. I was kind of hoping you would. Yeah, I know but you I were. Mean... Everybody hopes, but all we do is have fun on here, so do not worry. Oh, so the guy under him, you know he's from Monsters Inc., right? Yes, I know he's okay. from Monsters Inc. And I'm pretty sure he's the one that leaves the door open, if I remember correctly. But I cannot. Mr. Vile? Was that his name? Was that his Wait name? a minute. Wait. <laughs> you are name? killing it. You're killing it. <laughs> I literally just watched this movie a couple days ago. With us here. You know them. You're trying to play it like you don't. It's I'm all trying good. To, like, rethink the scene. His name's in my Thaddeus head. Vile. Thaddeus uh -huh. Vile. All right, now this other guy in the middle, I don't ever remember him anywhere in Tangled, the guy top middle. But uh, I'm pretty sure he's either in the Snuggly Duckling scene or, he, yeah, he's in the Snuggly Duckling scene. I'm pretty sure. If he yeah, one, is, I think, is he the, oh my God, is he, is he the unicorn guy, Vladimir, is that him? Is that him? <laughs> Vlad, yes, it is. <laughs> I am mind blown. If I gave these to any other person, they would not even get any. Kayla in the kingdom is legit. All right. Who's under Vlad? She called him by his full name too, Vladimir. Vladimir. He collects ceramic unicorns. Yes. All right. What's, who's uh, under him? Um, I actually cannot see it. It is cut off on my screen. It's cut off on your screen? I can only see like his eyebrows. I'm trying to think. Really? Uh, Oh, trying, all right. I'm it's okay. <laughs> he's, he's from Mary Poppins. He's like the only real person on here. Oh, no. Who is he? I can't tell who he is. All right. He's the constable. He's that police officer that walks around. Oh. In Mary Poppins. He's a tough one. Whenever I give him out to Mary Poppins, people, they totally lose right. their minds. Like, yeah, I don't no know. way that dude's in the movie. I'm like, we're going to look it up. Constable Jones. Check it out. He looks familiar, but I could not like put my place on it. Or put my what finger. About, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. What about the monster next to Vlad there. Oh no! I don't you know. know it. Come on, Kayla. I don't I'm, know I'm, it. I'm vibing with you right now. I'm, I'm putting it in your brain using the force. I really don't know this one. Um. Oh no. I know like what he does, but I don't know what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, are we picking Kayla for our trivia team and at no. the, on Disney night? Probably not, not. Not for not for names. I'm also with names. Not for names. No, oh, don't ask me names. Awesome. Um, All right, so his, his, his name, name starts with an S, and the second letter is an M. Sm. S M. <laughs> what? All right, his name is Smitty. Oh, I was literally just thinking that too. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm taking your word for it. Sorry. Got it. <laughs> All right. What about under him? Can you see that one? Yes. Uh, they are the guys after Flynn Rider. Um, come on, come on. They, they the, don't the have something. names. <laughs> the something. Oh, you don't know their names? The, uh, oh my God, I don't know. 
I, I don't know what their names are. <laughs> I don't, I don't they know, are the honestly. stabbing the Stabbington brothers. Oh, I never even heard that. It, really? Yeah, oh. I don't think they it's not my it first in the time. movie. No, they. I think they do. do they? They, I don't even know if they mention it in the movies. I found this on online, so this is oh. what I do. Yeah, now no, no, no. the last two, you have somebody from Lilo and Stitch and someone from Princess and the Frog. Do you know their names? I know Pleakley, and you are like the only person in, like maybe one of the only people in the world that know who Pleakley is. Really? And it, people claim to be Lilo and Stitch fanatics, and when I put these <laughs> Jumba and Pleakley up, they lose their. They go. I do not know Pleakley. He's like one of the main characters. Is that like a yellow Mike Wazowski? No, it's not a yellow Mike Wazowski. <laughs> it's Pleakley, yes. Weird. And what about the girl under him? Uh, Tiana's mom. I got to check yes. her name. I don't know her name. Hold on. Give me just a minute. It is Come something. On, Kayla. Come on, Kayla. Bring it to me. Oh, my God. Is, is it that a no? Mabel? <gasps> is that her name? Wait, did you say Mabel? Yeah. Is it's not. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> She's like, did I get it? Something? <laughs> I it's, don't know. No, if you're thinking Mabel, I'm going to give you the answer because you're not even close. No. It is Eudora. Oh, yeah. I was nowhere near it. I don't know why I thought Mabel. <laughs> That's too funny, though. Oh, my gosh. Diz <laughs> Jabbers. We got her on that one. But the thing is, I didn't expect her to drill those really hard ones home. This segment, the eyes have it is such a great segment because people don't realize like just the eyes can give so much away and you did such a fantastic job even though even though a couple of them kind of slipped out of your grasp smitty you were right there you probably were going to say it but it's okay i totally had that kayla, <laughs> kayla we're going to give you all full credit on that anyway this is your first time on the show so you're going to get a pass on that one totally good <laughs> but this next part Oh. I asked you for some songs, and she's like, crap. I got songs. this one. What are you going to make me do? Christian, I don't sing, dude. I don't sing. All right. So let us see what this segment is called. I think it's called Make Them Laugh. So, Kayla, what I did with this segment is I am daring you. I, I don't want you to laugh. Okay, I do not want oh. you to laugh at what you're going to see on the screen. <laughs> but what I did was I made it kind of hard. I took your favorite songs. I switched up the lyrics. I put my own lyrics in there. And oh, now yeah. you are going, oh yeah. And you are going to have to, one of the best segments ever, you are going to have to kind of talk the song out without laughing. I gotta talk you the song to, without laughing. Or sing the song out, but you have to use my lyrics. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> are you one of those busy fanatics who are like, you actually changed the song lyrics? No, it's just I have a really hard time not laughing at things. Oh, well, I don't know how I can help you except just show you the first part. Maybe you won't laugh. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll do this. All right. She gave us our favorite song, her favorite song. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> All right. What? Oh, no. Do you remember oh, what song no. this is? I know what song this is. I. Okay, do you want me to say it? Oh, yeah. You want me to just read it? Or, or you could sing it. I I don't I don't think I could sing that to the tune. Why not? Okay. I, I, I don't know. Just try so, it. Don't you shake your fist at me. Don't you make a face. Don't you tell me that I'm bad at I'm bad at this. It's not true. Don't you tell me that I'm no fun, even though my head weighs a ton. Wait, Just wait, tell me that you love me. What song is this? Uh, we belong together, right? Okay. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how's we belong together go? Um, oh my God. I know the chorus. That's help. about all I'm that I know. I ready. don't know like the, the tune okay. of the song. Ready? Don't you shake your fist at me. Don't you make a face. Don't you tell me that I passed gas. It's not true. Don't you tell me that I'm no fun, even though my head weighs a ton. Just tell me you love me when I sniff glue. You know you do. All right, so you got that part? Maybe. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yes. <laughs> when we're together. Did you want me to keep going? I'm sorry. 
Do I'm you so want bad me- at this. No, it's okay. I got this. It's okay. okay. Do you want me to sing it now? Yeah. Do, go from when we're together. Okay. When we're together, where is it? When we're together, donkeys tear up and I gear up to where I'm just half dressed. And it's crazy from the bottom of my soul. I just can't take it. I eat a buttered roll. We belong in cages. <laughs> <laughs> we belong in cages. Yes, yes we, do. we do. Eating dirt for ages. Cause we belong in cages. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> totally. Both of us are totally off key with this song. This is one of those songs where you can't sing it right unless you have the right voice. Yeah, like you, you just have to have that Randy. That what's his name? Randy. Um, you just can't. It's whatever his name is. Um, you have to be able to like hear him singing this because the way he doesn't really do a conventional like rhyme with the time. You know what I mean? No. He, like, just it kind of. Yeah, and if you can't like do that voice, it doesn't sound good. Yeah. No matter. All right. That was. That was that was totally a practice. Totally a practice. Now, let's see what she's got for this one. She's like, crap, there's another one. Son of a gun, I should have given him one song. All right. Oh, no. Okay, I got this. Okay. Think of Think a of terrible a thought. Perfect. Any scary little thought. Think of goblins. Think of ghosts. Think of graveyards. Off you go like a witch in the sky. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. <laughs> Come on, we're not done. Okay. Think of some terrible, some terrible things. things. It's the it's same the... as a bird without wings. <laughs> That's the scariest thing. <laughs> Take the Take... path of blood moon makes. If the moon is still awake, you'll see him with red eyes. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Oh. Off you oh, go no. with a oh hell no. <laughs> To be in the devil's soup, there's torture rack Rack waiting waiting for you. Where is your happy dreams come true? Every Every dream dream that you dream could fell. All right. She's like, good Lord, what kind of lyrics are these? She's not my horror movie. (laughs) There it is. There it is. (laughs) Time to die, whatever that thing you said. You need to get your Iron Man mask out. Oh, no. All right. All right. Next one. Next one. In Ooh. every job that must be done. <laughs> a hot dog is without a bun. <laughs> you You'll toast-, toast the bun and snap. You have some lunch. <laughs> and <laughs> every <laughs> task that you must do, making cows that go moo, he'll scream, he'll shout, moo. he'll kick and he'll say that a spoonful of poison helps the people all <laughs> pass out. The people all pass out. People all pass out. Just a spoonful of poison helps the people all pass out. Friggin' funny way. Uh, the vulture wrecking the nest has the hairy little time to rest while pecking all the little birds. <laughs> No uh, quite intent in his pursuit. He has he a has freaky, a freaky song, song to do. He says, at last, why you feel my ride? <laughs> oh my God, Kayla did it, but there's one more song. All right, here we go. These are so dark. <laughs> I, 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 that's the only way I went with it. <laughs> so dark. Now this is not that dark. All right, let's see. Mama, I don't have time for shopping. That's just going to have to wait a while. (laughs) Ain't Ain't got got time to dress like a clown. That takes a while. To keep the shots can slow you down. People drinking the easy way. But I know exactly what I'm drinking. (laughs) Getting drunker and drunker every day. (laughs) I'm so bad at this. I'm I'm almost there. there. Almost there. Almost there. People down. out here think I'm crazy. And I just, they just No, stare. they just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Shots, Shots and, and libations. Oh my I've had my share. 
There ain't there nothing ain't. gonna stop me now because I'm almost there. <laughs> I remember daddy told me, never drink from your shoe. You gotta please remember, they may have stepped in poo. So I don't drink hard each and every day. And that's for sure I need AA. <laughs> Just doing what I do. Look out, beer, I'm over you. <laughs> and I'm almost there. Oh, Kayla, that was awesome. You couldn't, she's laughing. That's a good thing, guys. She's laughing at it. Sometimes people, when you don't, when you don't sing it and you just read the words, it doesn't really make sense. But when you hear it in that Disney tune, you're just like, oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I have Kayla in the kingdom here, everyone. And I just want to say that so far, I'm hoping that she's enjoying this. Oh, she's yeah. like sitting there. All right. This is good. This is good. All right. So Kayla, we are going to hit you with something next. And this part, it's not too terrible. It's just called five questions with Christian. Now you're like, okay, five questions from Christian to me. That's easy. It's just questions. Is it just questions, Kayla? Is it? She's like, oh God. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's questions. It's not your normal like interview questions or how did you get into vlogging or what is your favorite thing about Walt Disney? No, nothing like that. These are questions that come from the cabeza up here and I don't even know what goes on up here sometimes. So <laughs> some of these questions, I'm, I, don't, I don't even remember writing them. So here we go. I'm kidding. I totally remember. <laughs> All right. First question. And this one's easy and this one's pretty, pretty straightforward. What is your perfect day at Disney? And I want you to include bucket list items if you have any. Um, so you can set up your own perfect day at Disney. What would that include? How many parks would you do? What rides would you get on? Okay, I have this. This is a thing that I have. All My right. perfect day at Disney involves no other people but myself. <laughs> Don't, nobody that's bad. Else. That's <laughs> awesome. Nobody. Like I love it. Completely to myself. I'd go to Animal Kingdom, and if it really? was allowed, yeah, I love Animal Kingdom so much. It's my favorite okay. park. If it was allowed, I would stay the night in like the tree, the tree of life. That'd be awesome. Okay. And I would also get rid of that Bugs Life show because I don't like it. Okay, so you <laughs> want to hollow out the tree of life, right? And, and you put just like want to a suite there. in there. Yeah, like oh. kind of like the Cinderella Castle, okay, but yeah. in the tree. That'd okay. Be awesome. I, I like it a lot. That'd be my perfect day. Wait, you're telling me I'm giving you carte blanche to go anywhere, any parks. You can go to Animal Kingdom at night. You can go to Magic Kingdom during the day. You can stay in, you could go hang out with an Imagineer, but you just want to go to Animal Kingdom and yeah, sleep I in the tree. I love Animal Kingdom and I want to sleep in the tree. <laughs> I'm a pretty simple person, okay? It doesn't take I much. am mind blown, <laughs> Kayla. I am mind blown right now that People are like, I want to go meet the beast. I want to eat in Cinderella's castle. I want to do bippity boppity boutique. But no, Kayla's like, listen, <laughs> I'm going to get rid of all the bugs are unemployed now. I'm getting rid yep. of all the bugs. They're gone. Take the chairs out. Put a suite in that in that hollowed out tree, and I'm sleeping there. Just she didn't me. mention. She didn't mention go on flight of passage. Why wouldn't you even do that? She didn't mention go on the safari. No. She okay, I would. I would be on rides like throughout the day. But at night we've gotta we've gotta get in the tree. That's like the the favorite place ever. But with nobody, okay. nobody there, just me. Right. But the best part <laughs> is she's like, we gotta get in the tree, and we meaning me alone. <laughs> just she's me. on her own. Don't you think that would be spooky? You by yourself in there? Mm -mm. I think it'd be nice. Nah, she's, she's got a whisk and an <laughs> Iron Man mask. She's I'm good. good to go. She's gonna go with that. All right, and. I guess that's kind of like a bucket list. It is what it is, Kayla. It's your choice. It's your perfect day. I'm not sure it's my perfect day. Okay, but it's all good. Now, this is gonna be a good one. So this is your second question with Christian. Disney has given you a 30 minute shopping spree. All right, 30 minutes, it's like a challenge, if you will. 30 minutes, you can keep anything that you can fit inside your backpack. All right, you can keep it. What park do you choose and what items do you grab? And you only have 30 minutes and you can go store to store or if you have an idea and go beeline right to that store, you can. Does Disney Springs count? Ooh, do I want to do Disney Springs? Yeah, let's do. Let's throw it in there. This is your show, darling. 
Okay. If Disney Springs counts, I'm going straight to World of Disney. Okay. And we're filling up with candy. <laughs> really wait a candy. minute. No, wait. Stop. 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 Hold on. <laughs> candy. You <counts>. have <laughs> You have Disney Springs at your fingertips and yes. you're going to fill up with candy. Look. I told you I'm very easy to please. We're going to get some candy. <laughs> We're gonna get some ears and we're gonna get some pins and I don't know what else. I don't know, I feel like once I was in there, I'd just be grabbing everything. If I only had 30 minutes, I'd like go to the sure. closest shelf and just grab everything. Right, right. And anything that has candy on it. I'm gonna get mugs and I'm gonna get, Kayla, there's Pandora beads. There's necklaces, there's jewelry. <laughs> I'm not really a jewelry person. <laughs> Uh, I like candy. Uh, she's gonna get <laughs> this is gonna go viral. She's gonna get candy. I guys, first before I say anything else and remark about this, please go follow Kayla on Instagram. It's at Kayla in the Kingdom. She would definitely appreciate it. Hit some likes, get some pictures going. But candy. I, I'm mind blown. You can get lounge fly bags. You can fit a Dooney and Burke bag in there. You can just Candy. You know what? I don't need any of that. <laughs> All right. Let's run with this. Let's run with this candy thing. What kind of Disney candy are you going to grab? Oh, God, the little, um, they're like the little coconut Mickeys. The that have, cheapest like, the, the the chocolate coconut chocolate. patty things? Those are so good. I love those. those the cheapest so crap candy Disney has to offer. And I she could get anything. I'm done. Look, I'm very I'm just, easy to please, okay? I'm not that picky. <laughs> My show has just been canceled because of you now. My show's been canceled. They said, what is wrong with this girl? Guys, there's nothing wrong with her. She is so super awesome. Kayla, thank you so, so much for being so honest, but candy. Yeah. I wish my life was that simple. I would be, oh my gosh, I'd go for the most watches. See, I don't know. I just never got into that stuff. I don't know why. I just didn't. I like and shirts. Then I would get some shirts probably, some t-shirts. <laughs> t-shirts and a couple of ears and yeah. a whole bunch of candy if the ears fit because the candy is like overflowing she's eating it to make sure that it's other stuff fit oh i can't fit this eat some of those coconut <laughs> patties they didn't oh my say gosh i couldn't wear it out <laughs> she's gonna come out looking like a hobo wearing like all eight different layers oh all right all right kayla i'm gonna give you that you're you're, you're rock you're rocking this I'm kidding. You're rocking this. All right. So question number three, five questions with Christian. What are your five favorite Disney rides? Okay. <clears throat> and, and if you could choose a character to ride each one with, who would that character be? Oh man. Okay. So I feel like you're going to be slightly disappointed with my answers. I um, know I am. Gonna. <laughs> 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 so if I could pick a character, is it have to be a current character or can it be it could be anyone you want just don't pick like shrek like i want to go on small world with oh. shrek he's disney right i would and ride all of my rides with roger rabbit because i love roger rabbit all right so you're picking one <laughs> character for all the rides does it have to be a different one for each ride? it doesn't or? have to be you can pick one rap you can pick roger for all the rides i thought <laughs> maybe you want to change it up but it's it's mm -hmm. this is your show we'll see i want to ride um, Expedition Everest with Roger Rabbit. That would be awesome. Because he's scared of everything. So I think that'd be funny. Please, I could see him yelling. I could probably also ride Tower of Terror with Roger Rabbit. His ears would be like <laughs> That would be so fun. I'm trying to think of like every park. In Magic Kingdom. Just, I want your top five favorite, <clears throat> Kayla. They all, all the Diz Jabbers want to know your favorites. I think I have like one favorite at every park. Okay, okay. let's go with it. So Everest. We're going Tower with Everest, of Tower of Terror. And then we'll ride Small World. I know you're, you're going to be disappointed with this one. I love who Small rides? World. I love Small World so much. Right. Who, who are you going to ride that with? Um, We'll ride Small World with Stitch because that'd be fun. <laughs> and then, maybe, maybe that would be the only way I would ride it with you because you gotta ride Stitch, it with Stitch. Would, Stitch, Stitch would make it go, a good. All right. And then we will ride. How many did I say? Three? I need two one, more. Two, 
to a watcher pick like, oh, Frozen Ever After. Don't not pick Frozen. No, we're not going to ride that. We are going to ride. <laughs> I don't even want to say it because I know how you're going to react to this. We're going to ride Journey into Imagination with Figment. I like Figment. With Figment. Not, oh, oh, you changed the game. <laughs> you changed the game. We're Good. riding it with Figment, okay? Yeah. Now, that's, that's a worthwhile answer. And then we got one more. Mm -hmm. hmm. God, pick something good, please. I feel like I want to say I want to ride Rise of the Resistance. Mm -hmm. I have not ridden it yet, though. Me either. I haven't ridden it yet. No, I haven't even seen spoilers. I've been avoiding them. Like, <laughs> so That's bad. That's so hard to do. So that means you're barely watching mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. So I would ride that ride probably... Mm -hmm. Can I ride it with Anakin like before he was burnt sure. up? <laughs> Yo, pre fire Anakin. Yeah, can, -fire. We, can we go back in time and sure. like Anakin before you can have he got Anakin burnt up? Before, Anakin before he's legless and uh, pretty yes. boy face. Got it. That's what we want. <laughs> All right, that, that's, those are your five Tower yes. of Terror, Small World, Everest, Figment with Imagination, and Rise of the Resistance. Pretty dope, pretty dope. I'm going to extend this question a little bit. Same question. Now I want to know what, in your opinion, not really popular opinion, but in your opinion, what are the top, not top, what are five rides that you would say, get rid of them, let's put something new there? Oh, everyone's You're getting gonna hate this answer. No, they won't. I you, have just the don't most... get rid of the good ones. Don't get rid of the good ones, that's all. I probably have the most unpopular opinion on this subject. We're loving one, it, Kayla. One would be, what is it? Um, it's a toy that Buzz Lightyear ride. I don't know what it's called. It's like Space spin Ranger down. Spin? No, not that one. It's the one where you're sitting in the little rocket thing and it's like tilted to the side. So you kind of feel like you're going to fall out while you're on it. I think Astro Orbiters, I believe. Oh, it's uh, yeah, yeah. Astro Orbiter. It's not a Buzz Lightyear ride, but yes, Astro Orbiter. I would get That's rid of that it. ride because I don't. I you feel like you're gonna fall out every time you're in it, and it's a lot faster than it looks. <clears throat> yeah, I not a fan of that. Um, I would get rid of. I would get rid of Space Mountain because <laughs> I am not not a Space Mountain person. I'm just not. How many times have you ridden at your life? A lot, a little. <sighs> every time I go with someone new, they're like, "I want to ride Space Mountain," and I'm like, "Why?" Like, I and don't want to go to the chiropractor after I leave here, so. <laughs> I've said this before. Kayla, when I come off of that ride, I know how old I am. I know. Oh, what? Oh. Every it's, time. You're just but like. the thing is, uh, glutton for punishment. I go on it every year just because it's Space Mountain. Yep. <laughs> All right. Space Mountain, you're gone. Um, what else do you get rid of? Astro Orbiter, see ya. Are you guys feeling that Tomorrowland is slowly getting smaller here? I think I, so. I mean, I like Tomorrowland. I just don't like those rides in Tomorrowland. Okay, let's see what's next. And we're getting rid of the Speedway. Get it out of here. Are we getting rid of five things? Like we five had things, five yep. things. Are we getting rid of five things? Oh, man, that's a hard one. Um, and you know what? It doesn't have to be a ride. If there's an attraction you don't like. <laughs> oh, Bug's Life. It's gone. The okay, bugs, there you go. It's tough to be a bug. It's gone. Sad. <laughs> gone. You got two more. We don't like the bugs. Um, sure. I don't like the bug. I don't know why that ride's always scared me. Um, oh, man. <laughs> what else are we getting rid of? We are getting you rid of. Me. Oh, no. I'm trying to think. I don't know what we're getting rid of. We are getting rid of something. I'll tell you what. If you want to get rid of a pavilion, in Epcot, one of the countries in World Showcase, you can get rid of one of those. <clears throat> hmm. No, I don't have any of those. I think I would get rid of maybe She's if like, I no. had if I had to get rid of a pavilion, I'd probably get rid of Norway. Maybe I'd probably get rid of Norway. I think that's Not my, Morocco. My least favorite one. I really like the smell of Morocco. Like I don't know what it is, but the way <laughs> the way it smells out there, I love it. <laughs> It's like, a Disney smell. I get it, but not a smell I, that I'm I'm fond of. So you're getting rid of Frozen Ever After. Elsa and Anna are taking a hike. I mean, 
it's a good ride, okay? But it's not uh -huh. like backtrack now. Now she's backtracking. Now she's like, okay, wait. <laughs> not like it's like a one and done for me. I think. Okay. Like I take my kids on it because they love Frozen, but like right. I wouldn't be mad if it was gone. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I was more preferable to the ride before Frozen. Um, the Mouse so, Room. Yes. Yeah. So I think that has. If they went back to that and just got rid of the Frozen theme or changed it to anything else, I wouldn't be mad. She's gonna get hate mail. She's gonna be like, "You're getting rid of no." <laughs> All right, you That's got okay. one more. Now remember, okay. you can pick an attraction. You can pick. I don't. You could pick a restaurant. Might get rid of a restaurant. Let's get rid of that. Hmm, can I pick the Skyliner? <laughs> oh, have you ridden the Skyliner? I am. You're not getting me on that thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, is it because of that whole ordeal of it being stuck, or is it just because there's like a there's like dental floss holding up these iron things? <laughs> I'm not a fan of like gondolas. Period. Like the one at Blizzard Beach. No, you're not getting me on that thing. But this, just something about being in like an enclosed bubble on that line with the thing talking to me like i just um and it's really high up i'm terrified of heights so mm. and then that really didn't help because that's like your biggest fear like what if i get stuck up here and like the very first week it did get stuck up there so yes. it's like and people they were <laughs> taking they were taking these cranes and like it was insane i watched all that stuff on the news and i'm like i'm still gonna go on it i still want to try it out i'll I, probably I, go on it but I'm gonna it need is. I, I have data. been on it a few times. It's not as bad as it. It's not as bad as you think it is. But if you were in the other situation, then you probably are gonna be scarred for life. Yeah, so. I think I would have to hit like Epcot before I got on that ride. So I get it. <laughs> I get it. Oh, Kayla, we're on question number four. You are the next Disney princess in line for a movie. I need to know what your name is and what do you yes. look like. Do you have what any my... powers? Oh no, what's my name? Hmm. Can I just keep my name? And then <laughs> girl, and I love it. All right, so Kayla is the brand new Disney princess. Does Kayla have any special powers? Mm. I want to be able to have man, I feel like my ideas are all coming from somewhere else. Because I'd all... like to have Mary Poppins powers. Like her powers are great, like, especially her bag. The she carries with her everywhere. I would love to have Mary Poppins powers. I have never in I my was... life, in my life, ever had somebody in one of the, with one of these similar questions to be like, "What powers would you want to have, dude?" Honestly, Mary Poppins, <laughs> mic drop or umbrella drop, right? Like, like if oh. I could snap my fingers, I got kids. If I could snap my fingers and clean my house, like I would do that all day. Like, I agree. <laughs> That's those are great powers, Kayla. Kayla, you did a really nice job on that one. Now, what would your storyline be like? Would you, would you be fighting off villains? Would it be like you're like the mean babysitter and all of a sudden the, the kids like try and turn you back to being good? Like what kind of a storyline would it be? Mm, I don't know. This is not, I'm not prepared for this right now. Um, off the top of my head, what would my storyline be? Probably somewhat similar to like, okay, Rapunzel's where like you don't really know who you are or where you come from kind of and then you just kind of discover yourself at the end and then find out hey i'm this cool princess with dude house cleaning kayla powers. kayla that's <clears throat> that's that's dope honestly i'm just like what and i know you're not prepared for it. she's like my god he should have told me before the show <laughs> i could have thought of something great christian thanks no but you have to be put on the spot you're in the hot seat tonight kayla do not worry you will totally redeem yourself on this next one. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So, Kayla, I got to tell you something. You are in a really sticky situation. And uh, I need you to pick three Disney characters that are going to come to your rescue. Who would come to your rescue? In a sticky situation. In a who sticky is? situation. I, I, <clears throat> who knows what the sticky situation could be? But you need to pick three characters to come rescue you. Who would they be? Hmm. Someone who can fly. Okay. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Peter, no, maybe Tinkerbell, not Peter Pan, because she's the one with the pixie dust to make me fly. There you go. And Timon and Pumbaa. 
Why are they coming to your rescue? Okay, because if you need to get out of a sticky situation, you need a distraction. Okay, oh, and God. they can do the hula and distract me out of the sticky hula, situation. Hula. And then Tinkerbell can fly us all the way. Man, there you, you go. know what? I was totally going to clown you on this, but I can't. You have total method to your madness, Kayla. There is method to that madness. And I'm just going to say. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Stay tuned for further instructions. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, tonight we have Kayla in the kingdom here, and she is doing an amazing job so far. Totally not shaken by some of the questions, totally rocking it, although she hasn't gotten to this next part, and this part is called the ABCs of Disney. Now, Kayla, Kayla, you hear every time, oh, no, what is that? What could it be? <laughs> Kayla, you and I are going to play a little game together, and we're working together on this, okay? Um, we're going to tell a story, a Disney story. Now, the reason it's called the ABCs of Disney is every time the next person starts a sentence, you have to use the next letter in the alphabet. So, for example, if I, if I started off with A, as I was walking down Main Street, I saw Jafar. Okay? And then you're going to say, before <laughs> I knew it. So, and then we're going to go all the way to Z. Okay. You got it? Now, remember. Yeah. This story can go anywhere and nowhere fast. Whatever words you can come up with, just go with them. Okay. And always finish the sentence. Don't say, and then I, because it makes it much easier for the other person. So okay. would you like to begin with A or do you want me to begin with A? Um, you can start. That's fine. All right. Are you sure? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. I always use the Jafar one. I, I got to change it. <laughs> I got to change it up. You want to be in it? All right, let me see. Uh, a long, long time ago, I was in the Magic Kingdom with my friend, <clears throat> Baby Yoda. Mm. Bouncing down the street, Ooh, I saw Tigger buy me a churro. Buy me a churro. <laughs> wow, that's really good. You threw me off my game. I wasn't going to go with it. <laughs> Casually, Baby Yoda and I walked up to him and said, hey, pal, think we could have some of that? Disturbingly, he looked at you and said, no, <laughs> this is for my friend. <laughs> Jen, I thought you were going to stop and say, no. And just no. Wait. <laughs> this is for my friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. He said no. He said no. Disturbingly, very disturbingly, he said, I got it. He was like, okay, enough of this nonsense. Just give us some of that churro. Fine. Here, take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. All yours. You want it that bad? Take it. How about you turn around and go get us another one? Wait. I... No, 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 no. You said fine, right? <clears throat> yes. I'm a, I'm a second grade teacher. I can't do the alphabet. I should do G. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, oh, I uh, totally forgot about G. Right? We were totally going to finish the story out. <laughs> My 
all my friends would have clowned me on that. Um, <laughs> fine, here, take it. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping you would say. Oh. <laughs> Ash is like, son of a gun. <laughs> oh, ha ha. Hey, guys, want to ride bikes? <laughs> Joke's on you. I put hot sauce on that one. <laughs> okay. I hope we don't get diarrhea. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's mm. what you said. Just kidding. That one's fine. I think I'm going to go and ride small world. <laughs> Kill me now, small world. <laughs> I love small world. That's not, <laughs> <laughs> she's so offended by it. And that, but that was my K by the way. That was oh. my K. I knew you didn't know that, I knew it. <sighs> mm. Lame, what do you mean you don't like small world? <laughs> My dear, what I'm saying is I would never go on that ride. Now hear me out. Hear me out now. You would love this ride if we were at Disneyland instead. Obviously, you don't know me that well. <laughs> don't put words in my mouth. Please, just, just hear me out. Again, she's like, please, just, hear me just listen, okay? Listen, Linda. Linda, listen. <laughs> Who the hell is Linda? I swear to God. Have you just seen the me with the little kid, the little boy? He's like, listen, Linda, listen. Oh, that was all off. Okay, I go ahead. That. Okay. No idea what that is, by the way. But go ahead. I'm just agreeing with her. Please, now. Fine. If you don't want to ride Small World, we can go eat some lunch. Somewhere. That was your piece? That yeah. was your piece? Yes. <laughs> okay. Quick service restaurants are probably our best bet. Hmm. Really think I'd rather do a table service right now. Oh. So I guess we're going to have to agree to disagree. Tony's is just up the street. Under the circumstances, mm -hmm. I really would like to do a quick service. Very well, then. <laughs> Ooh. Very well. That's what she's giving to me. Very well, then. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. It started with a V. <laughs> um, why don't you go your own way and we will go ours? Hmm. It's X. I don't know what starts with an X. Xylophones. I was just thinking that's the only word I can think of. X-rays. Hmm. X-rays in the morning. That's fine. We. I've got to go home anyway and sleep. <laughs> you really, really should not come to these parks alone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Zoinks. <laughs> I'm out of my <laughs> I'm done. She said zoinks. <laughs> she made up her own word, buddy. <laughs> So wait, what was the ending? Just zoinks? It's done? <laughs> um, you're you're right. Zoinks, you're right. I should really, really stop drinking. <laughs> 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 oh, baby Yoda, that was dope. Oh, my God. Kayla, that was one of the best stories ever. Ooh. Like, ever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, Kayla is doing so well. Like I said, please go subscribe to her channel. <laughs> In the kingdom here and all i know is that she's all of a sudden she's getting more comfortable with the show and she's <laughs> nailing, it. Totally nailing it this next one kayla and you being a youtuber you know what a collab is right when you collab with someone yes well, this is called to collab 
or not to collab. Now Ooh. I'm going to give you a choice of two different collabs that you can do. And what you're going to do is you're just going to choose the one that you like best. There might be some explanation needed. If not, no big deal. So the first collab is this. You could be a new princess in the sequel to sequel to Tangled or be a new princess in the sequel to Princess and the Frog. Which one would you rather do? Mm, Tangled, I think. Tangled? Is there a reason? Because yeah. I know they're both your favorite movies, two of your favorites. Um, Why Tangled more than Princess and the Frog? Oh, this is a bad answer. But, um, okay, so you know how in The Little Mermaid, when Ursula disguised herself to steal Eric away from Ariel. As, what's her name, Vanessa or something like that, right? Yes, okay, so we're gonna pull one of sure. those moves oh. and we're gonna steal Flynn Rider from Rapunzel. <laughs> She's stealing the smolder, my brother. She's stealing the smolder. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Kayla in the kingdom was evil Kayla in the kingdom. <laughs> She's a villain. Oh, good Lord. You didn't say okay. I had to be a good princess. <laughs> right. Kayla, you turned it around on Christian, Diz Jabber 71, and I wasn't expecting it. Let's see what she can do with this one. What do you think? So get a selfie with Walt Disney at an Instagram wall or be the Imagineer who creates the child Mickey and Minnie will have one day. Not this child. Okay, so you're going to either be able to create, Mickey and Minnie are going to have a kid, and you're going to get to create that child. Or you can meet Walt Disney and get a <clears throat> selfie with him. Well, I have always wanted to be an Imagineer, so we're going to go with creating a child for Mickey and Minnie. What? So Walt Disney is now in the corner crying. This is his one shot to come back to the <laughs> earth, and he's just like, selfie with me. What do you say, Kayla? And she's like, oh, no, no, I got babies to make. I got babies to make. <laughs> Well, that's All like right. one day. It would last one day. This would last a while, a lifetime, probably. It would. You, you would make your mark in Disney history, and everyone will remember Kayla in the kingdom. All right. Let us go to the next one. Would you give up your channel for a lifetime annual pass or be sponsored by Disney and become their exclusive vacation info person, but you can't go to the parks anymore? It's what? Either giving up your <laughs> Listen, you're either going to give up your channel and you get a lifetime annual pass or Disney sponsors you, makes you their prime exclusive vacation person, but you can't go into the parks anymore. Well, I kind of feel like that's already what I do. Um, so I think I'd probably give up my channel for the annual pass. For a lifetime annual pass, not even one year, 10 lifetime. Yeah, because that's a lot of money. <laughs> It really is. It really is. I'm just thinking, good Lord, it really is. Ah, oh, that was a great one. And she's so funny. She goes, kind of, you know what, Christian, you saw my my vlogs and stuff. I kind of <laughs> do all that stuff with Disney. And uh, they don't give me no props. I got nothing from them. I don't even uh, get paid. Like <laughs> I know. I know that feeling. Kayla, you have two more of these left. Let's see how you do. So. Would you walk Magic Kingdom with Mike Wazowski and do a Disney hacks vlog? Okay, that's one collab. Or do a 24 hour challenge with Stitch in Animal Kingdom where you both are handcuffed to each other. That one. I would be handcuffed to Stitch all day. That's, I would do it. Animal Kingdom with my main little guy. <laughs> Back there on the bed too, like hee <laughs> hee. Oh yes, my gosh. Going with Stitch. Right, so you're giving up. You're giving up on Mike Wazowski with one eye, right? He's done. Yeah. <laughs> no vlogging with you, buddy. Stitch nope. and I are rocking and rolling on a challenge. That was a good one. I like That'd that. That'd be yeah. so fun. I don't know. What about when you have to go to the bathroom? It's 24 he's, hours. He's small. <laughs> he can go with me. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> All right. The last one. Babysit the seven dwarfs in the Magic Kingdom for a full day. However, none of them took their ADHD meds. All right. So you have to babysit all seven of them or sneaking into Epcot at night, but you get caught. You go viral and now you're rich and famous, but you're banned. Oh, OK. We're going to go with the banned one because oh. because it happened to Adam the Woo and they let him back in. He got his ban lifted. After sneaking, I on feel like property. he got it lifted like five different times too. I think he keeps just doing nonsense. And he I can't think I think he's um I think he's still banned from like he's Universal right now. Yeah, <laughs> banned. 
That dude, man, he has no fear. I love oh, him, though. <laughs> I know, I know. He has really him. good stuff. Gotta love it. You gotta love somebody who like puts that much effort and time and like life into craft your craft because yeah. you're given you have a possibility of giving it all up, which for a while he did. So, all right, boys and girls, what are we going to throw at Kayla next? Now, Kayla, I made this one just for you, specifically for you, and this is called Hacking the World with Kayla. Now, this is such a cool idea because I know her vlogs have a lot to do with special hacks. Now, Kayla, first, maybe some uh, YouTubers out there, well, fans out there, don't know what a hack is. Can you explain that first? A hack, so basically just kind of how you work the system to get what you want. Work Pretty much what a hack app. is. It sounds wow. awful when you say it out loud, but like a a trick or like a, something you do to get a discount. Uh, small things that you can do that will add up to having a better time. Okay. Maybe? So like, like how about we, hack is like a trick, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, Oh, it's a way to get past the system. I'm yeah. going to tell you how to get into the parks for free. And I will be joining Adam the Roo at some point. <laughs> On the band list. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Oh, no. Okay guys. So Kayla, can you please enlighten us? Can you, Put this wisdom upon us. What are your top hacks when it has to come to Disney? Okay, so mm, top ones. I feel like I have a few. And some of them apply to like regular people and some of them apply to like military people. And I think a lot oh, of them wow. are for military people. But my okay. number one like hack ever is never book online. I do not book online at all. Call them directly because Disney has a weird thing. I don't know why they do it, but they don't ever always advertise all their deals okay. and you never know when those Smart. deals are coming out Smart. and if you book online not only are you not getting all those discounts but you have to pay everything in full and a lot of people don't realize you can just put a dis uh, deposit down yes and not have to pay everything in full yeah. and then that way when specials pop up you can check in periodically yep. they can always add that special to your trip you can get more money off which is one thing that i always tell people to do because wow. I don't pay full price for anything. <laughs> Whoa, look out. Nothing. <laughs> on fire right now. All right, so one big hack. Don't do the online thing. Mm -mm. Go right to the source. Call them up. What else you got for us? This is great. I feel like a lot of them are somewhat obvious, like the whole Target card, get 5% off thing. A lot of one thing that I do that has earned me quite a bit of money towards previous trips is there is, it sounds so crazy and people are probably going to be like, oh, whatever. But there is these like apps. Okay. They're kind of like cash back apps, but there's one that I particularly like in general. It's called Shopkick. And you I pretty much Shopkick. just, yeah, you just walk around the store. I live in a place where there's nothing to do so I walk around stores for fun pretty much and I know I'm not the only person that does it when you're in there it basically tells you like scan this and it'll give you points cash those out for gift cards uh, and they have Disney gift cards on there and I have earned do they yeah they have Disney gift cards. I've earned hundreds of dollars literally just what just kidding. I have literally gone on trips for free because of those gift cards like no out of pocket money whatsoever. Yeah, this is how you're going to find the you know the Shopkick app. The name of it right down in the description. Everybody, everybody, go. Kayla's like, no, they're gonna take my stuff. Between that, rewards points on like the Disney Visa, which I know a lot a lot of people like or can get. Or if you're military, you can get super cheap tickets on base. You get like forty percent off of resorts. Um, you're like crazy you discounts. So, so you've stayed in Disney. Have you stayed at Shades of Green? I have not actually. I've been to Shades of Green, but I have not stayed at Shades of Green okay. because we don't ever know when we're going till the very last minute, and that place is always booked up. It's always booked up. The, the it, rates for military personnel insane. It's kind of weird there because it goes based off of your rank. So the higher the rank you are, the more you're going to pay for your room. What? 
Yeah, it's really weird because I, our room rate was less when my husband was a lower rank than it would have been now. That's weird. It's a whole thing. I don't know. I would why. lie. I'm just a <laughs> private. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Set me up. Oh, man. What else? You got anything else for us? What about stuff in the parks? Any tricks for in the parks? Um, I don't pay for drinks at the parks because I get them for free with the free water thing, which is kind of, or if you do quick service and you like don't want to spend a lot of money, you can mobile order a kid's meal because most of the time it is an adult size portion anyway, save a little money there That's or bring, smart. or bring your own food because they don't ask you how old you are for those kid's meals. I get a kid's meal every time I go. So if you're good with like chicken tenders that come in a bucket right. at restaurant Osaurus, you're good to go. Um, wow. What else do I got? Take all the free stuff. Do the DVC wait, 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 what, what, what's free thing. You? What's, what's, oh, absolutely. Do the DVC thing. Have you done that? Yes. Do the DVC thing where you go in and listen to their little rant and they always give you fast passes for it. Or free um, lunch. Something. I, we always got fast passes for doing we it. Got, but we got fast passes and then we did it again and we got free lunch because we, were, we didn't buy the first time. Just... Honestly, well, the freebies, as far as that goes, used to be the magic bands, but now they won't be anymore. Um, buttons. I, I have got so many ridiculous amounts of buttons, um, park maps, all that. Like, all, I'm trying to. Are say you like, the kind? Are you the kind of person that grabs like a handful of Magic Kingdom maps and says like, "Yeah, they're all mine." No, I just get like one every time I go. It usually gets <laughs> folded like up and shoved in my pocket, so it's all wrinkly by the time I get home. But I'm trying to like think of the not so obvious ones, like um, oh man, I'm really really trying to think of the not as obvious ones, and I just had it in my head and now it's gone. Oh, just be nice to the cast members. Like that's one of the oh. biggest hacks you could do because magical moments are like better than anything. Like literally, and those buttons. Where are those buttons? Like I cannot stress that enough. They will talk to you every time. <laughs> where are the buttons? Like I have been they have let me skip lines i've gotten free fast passes i have gotten like discounts on my food i've gotten free stuff at the stores just for having like a birthday button on so that's a big one that is too cool Where those, are, those are some great hacks and when i say hacks i mean <laughs> tricks you're not getting the you're not getting it over on the system and she said <laughs> she said my glasses is on straight all right there they go all right that's so funny that she says Got to get, you know, get it, get one over on Disney guys. I would love to get one over on Disney because I know for a fact that we way overpay on so many different things that they sell, mm -hmm. but it's all about the magic. It's all about being in Disney. I get it. I understand, but I don't like it. I don't have to like it. Oh, Kayla doing those hacks. Totally going to take you up on a few of those and Diz Jabbers find her on Instagram. And when you do find her on Instagram, maybe you just give her a quick message, shout out, and she can just totally set you up and show you the blogs that she has that shows you all these different hacks that she does. Oh, we are loving you right now. But are you going to love me back, Kayla, when I throw you into the lightning round 3.0? Now she's like, I don't oh, know, yeah. but that sounds, that sounds like a torture thing. <laughs> it is not. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little trivia. Now the trivia is not so hard. I promise. I promise. Well, it depends. I'm going to throw some names at you, some Disney character names. All you have to do is tell me what movie they're from. Easy. She's like, yeah, right. <laughs> Christian, nothing about this is easy. So Christian, why are you grabbing your phone right now? Oh, Kayla, I forgot to tell you. I time you on this. So she's like, oh. Yeah, she's actually like, great. This is, all, this is all me. I got this. So you have 90 seconds, 90 seconds to get through as many of these characters and their movies as possible. And at the end of the season on episode 10, and we're on episode six right now, I put the leaderboard up and the winner gets a Disney gift card. So, yay, yay right? And she, <laughs> she'll hack that guy. She'll be like, oh, I know a way to get a better gift. Okay, no. <laughs> okay. So let's find out where we are here. There's one little part to this that's beneficial to you. You're allowed to have five passes. If you don't know it, you can say pass. Okay. Easy enough, right? 
Okay, let's see. Now remember, you have 90 seconds. I'm gonna say boom, and you say the name of the movie. And just remember, if you get it wrong, not a big deal. I count by how many you get right. So you can get 50 wrong, but if you got 100 right, the 50 don't matter. You won't get 50, don't worry. <laughs> and I'm gonna start like I do with everyone. I'll say the first character, and then I'll start the timer, give you a little head start. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, and Dopey. Uh, Snow White. Simba. And oh, Lion King. Aurora. Sleeping Beauty. Flounder. Little Mermaid. Abu. Aladdin. Billy Butcherson. Billy Butcherson. Oh no, what is this? You better pass. Billy Butcherson? Pass. I'll pass. Sure. We'll pass. Oliver. <clears throat> um, Oliver and Company. Dash. The Incredibles. Gil. Gil. Uh pass. Eve. Wally. Tantor. Uh, Tarzan. Cocoam. Pocahontas. Troy Bolton. High School Musical. Stinky Pete. Toy Story 2. Phil. Hercules. Ada. Uh, Bugs Life. Naveen. Princess and the Frog. Chick Hicks. Chick Hicks. Oh my God! Is that the? Is that Chicken Little? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pass. Charles Muntz. Charles Muntz. <laughs> that was your ninety seconds in the, oh no. in, the, in the limelight there. Oh my God! Oh no. Why did guys? Diz Jabbers, you saw <laughs> she she gave me about fifteen to twenty seconds of her just saying what? What is what? this? I don't. What did you do, uh, Kayla? Kayla, you honestly, I you were know. on a roll to be top scorer. <laughs> she was killing it, totally killing it. Uh, but she's going to have to wait now until the end of the season to find out if she gets that coveted Disney gift card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kayla, now it is time to move on to the next segment, the Disney Smackdown. So now you're like, okay. So, Christian, why is that picture there with all the characters? Well, this Disney Smackdown is kind of like a Disney character Smackdown. And I hope you know your characters. Now, Christian, I know some characters. I don't know them all. It's okay. We're going to have fun with this anyway. Here's what's going to happen on the Disney, let's call it the Disney character Smackdown. We just renamed it the Disney character Smackdown. We're going to play, and this time you're going to start. I want you to pick any character you want, any character. And I have to think of a character's name that begins with the le last letter of the character you had. So for example, if you say Aladdin, my next character has to start with an N and we have to go until we can't think of anymore. Oh man, okay. Um, let's go with, do you want like the last letter of their first name or the last letter of their last name? Whatever name you give me. So let's say you give me Gaston, I'd have to start with N. But let's say you gave me Nick Wilde, I'd have to start with, I think his last name starts with, last name is E, W-I-L-D-E. I have to go with E. Okay, uh, we're gonna go with Piglet. Piglet. Mm. Turk. Um, Kokuum. Oh, man. <laughs> Mickey. Oh. That's a tough one. Uh, you, you know. Yeah. This game might have just been cut short. Oh my yeah. gosh. Is there even a character's name? Yzma. Oh, gotcha. that was dope. That was dope. <laughs> what do I say? Yzma. It's the A. Um, oh, Alice. E Eeyore. Oh, that's another E. Um. <laughs> Edna Mode. Oh no. E Esmeralda? Crap. <laughs> oh, we just, just said the name. Ada. Uh, uh, 
Ariel. Oh. Mm. Lumiere. <laughs> Does that end with an E? Yeah. E? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Ooh, I might have her on this one. Mm, I, I won my own round. Okay. Uh, e, 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 E. Oh, no. This might be it. This might be the end. I might have taken it out. I don't know why Elmer Fudd popped into my head. That's not Disney. <laughs> That's like, that's like six flags. That's not Disney. Um, no. Crap. I don't, I don't, I think I, that's I not got Disney me. <laughs> oh, crap. That character. I got to start with a P now. Oh, boys and girls. Sometimes this round, this, this round might go forever or it might just stop dead in its tracks. <laughs> I thought I had you with that Yzma one. The why, but I guess not. This Jaffers. What a cool, quick round that was. Am I going to do a few rounds of that for then the future shows? I don't know. I wanted to try it out tonight. And Kayla, you did amazing. Totally amazing. Uh, Kayla, our time is very, very quickly coming to an end. But I do have a few more things for you to worry about. What? Did he say worry? This next one is called Are You Serious, Clark? Now, are you a fan of Big Christmas Vacation? Yeah. I like that movie. Yeah. So... In that movie, we have Clark Griswold, and he is t at the dinner table, and he's like, kids, the police scanner just said that they saw Santa making his way around the corner. Hey, kids. I heard on the news that an airline pilot spotted Santa's sled on its way in from New York. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you serious, Clark? And then they're all like, oh, and then Randy Quaid is like, you serious, Clark? And I love that character. I love Cousin Eddie. I think he's so underrated. And he just makes that movie what it is. Well, Clark does too. Now, why do I call it Are You Serious, Clark? Because what I'm about to do with you is totally not serious. It is totally hysterical and totally fictional. And you are going to have to show me what your story making skills are, your, you know, your fictional tales. So mm -hmm. here's what you have to do. I'm going to give you a little paragraph. I'll read it to you. And then there's three phrases at the bottom that you have to answer this with all of those phrases, but you're going to put them in a story. You don't have to put them in order the way they are. You can use them any which way. Let me show you what the first one looks like. Cruz Ramirez and you were out late one night speeding all around the neighborhood. You may have caused some damage to the neighbor's lawn. Your neighbor is the mayor and wants to know if you and your car friend are responsible for this again. If so, he's going to make sure you're kicked out of the neighborhood and your annual pass will be revoked. What do you say? Are the Jonas brothers still popular? Eat my dust and has that rash cleared up? So I'm going to pretend I'm the mayor. Okay. You ran all over my lawn. You have to give me a good reason why I shouldn't get your annual pass revoked. <clears throat> and you must use all of those sayings. And it doesn't have to be in order. Hmm. All of the sayings. Be like, um, you can add more words, of course. Embellish. Like, hey, Mayor. Yeah. How, how about that rash? Is that rash cleared up? <laughs> <laughs> No? Oh, um, well, uh, are the Jonas Brothers still popular? <laughs> In my house, uh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Well, while you're distracted, uh, eat my dust <laughs> and then take off. <laughs> Kayla, you get the gist of it. You totally get the gist of it. All right, guys. So now that we've warmed her up on this one, let's see. Oh, she's like, I need a drink. And this is not water. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. The next one. Here we go. Stitch. And I used all your characters. Okay. Stitch is staying over for a week. He's eaten all the food in your house and even some furniture. Lilo comes to pick him up and asks if he's been a good boy. You want to tell her the truth, but you know it will devastate her and probably make her put him up for adoption. When she asks how he was and why is your house all torn up? What do you say? You have to protect Stitch. And you have to use never again, you crazy broad, 
toilet seat was a mess and to be honest wanted to kill him hmm. and i you said i can add other things to this oh, right add whatever you want yes you don't have to, just have to use those add some okay. stuff to it so i'm lilo i'm like what happened i'm like well my stomach was really hurting and the toilet seat was a mess and if it wasn't for stitch it would still be a mess <laughs> but i he brought me some toilet paper and said never again you crazy broad <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest i uh i wanted to kill him because it was really embarrassing but in the end you know it all worked out <laughs> all right you're lucky you're not going up for adoption that was really good kayla Okay, that was really good. You're probably sitting there like, oh my God, <laughs> now I really do need to use the bathroom. All right, here comes your next one. Mickey and Minnie are getting on each other's nerves. You are their relationship counselor. What do you say when they say this is not working, they're getting a divorce? You have to use, you still have to pay for this session. Is eating a tuna sandwich on the toilet really that bad? And to be honest, nobody knows whether you two are really married anyway. Which oh, is true. They, they are married. They just never had an on-screen wedding, but they are Whoa. married in real life. <laughs> That's one of her hacks. That's one of her hacks, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, look, Minnie. Forget, this is me and Minnie right here, okay? Look, Minnie. We know Mickey has his problems, okay? And we know. <laughs> but... Okay, if your stomach is already hurting, is eating a tuna sandwich on the toilet really that bad? Oh like, at God. this point, he's probably a little shaky because he's been in there for a while. And to be honest, nobody really knows whether you two are married or not anyway. So, I mean, the divorce, no divorce, what are people going to say, really? But uh, whether you get divorced or not, you still have to pay for this session. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh, that was super awesome. She's killing it, guys. She's killing it. She's really doing good. I didn't expect her to do this good. She's good. <laughs> All right. So, next, Mother Gothel is back. She survived and she's disguised as Snow White. She's yelling for Rapunzel, let down your hair. You're up in the tower with Rapunzel, and you can clearly tell who it is. How do you keep Mother Gothel occupied down there while you call 911? So I'm Mother Gothel down here. Let down your hair, but you can see it's totally me. So does this dress make me look fat? If I had a donkey's ear every, for every time I heard someone say that, and Pascal vomited in my hair, and I am washing it. Oh, man. Okay, so. Okay, Rapunzel, let down your hair. We're going to yell out the window. Yep. Like, she's helping me really quick. Pascal vomited in my hair, and I'm washing it. It's just everywhere. I'll wait. That's fine. <laughs> if I had a donkey's hair for every time I heard someone say that. Just let, just, you know what? <laughs> put, put, throw some rope down. I'll climb it. Well, um, I had to use all the rope to hold this dress up because it was too small. So I had to like tie it up in the back. But uh, does this dress make me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm getting out of here. Oh my gosh. That was dope. All right. So now you have one left kayla one left let's see if you can nail this one <laughs> mike wazowski just asked you to be the wedding planner for his marriage to celia he is one of your best friends but you're already booked for sully's wedding that very same day how do you let him down easy let alone let along i'm always making spelling mistakes <laughs> let alone not get him and sully into a huge argument wouldn't you rather just do it on a tuesday afternoon I saw Celia hanging out with Randall a couple a couple weeks ago, just saying. I hate my job. Marriage is stupid, and I think anyone who gets married is an idiot. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm Mike Wazowski with one eye, and I'm sitting here, and I'm. You, will you be my wedding planner? But you have plans for Sully, so what are you going to tell me? Well, Mike, mm -hmm. I saw Celia hanging out with Randall a couple weeks ago. Just saying. And I heard them talking about me. He was telling her that I said that I hated my job. Marriage is stupid. And I think that anyone who gets married is an idiot. <laughs> but that's not true. That's not, not true. true. But okay. everyone gets married on a Saturday. Wouldn't you just rather do it on a Tuesday afternoon? Did you hear <sighs> that? Do a, do a mic drop. Bing. 
Hello, humans. Ah, oh my gosh. That was so super awesome, Kayla. I am, guys, I am totally taken back and I am loving her and her channel even more at this point in time. Oh, Kayla, we are slowly coming to the end of the show. But before we let you vamoose and leave, here's what we're going to do. This is called Famous Last Words. Now, Famous Last Words, you might be thinking, oh, he's going to give me quotes or he's going to do, no, not at all. We are going to run through a list of all of your favorite things. And you have to choose the thing that in your head, they're taking it away forever. And you can only have it one last time. So for example, your last snack, if you love turkey legs, which I can't stand them, but if you love them and they're going to get rid of it, you want to have it one last time. So what things would you want to have one last time before they get rid of it? So for example, like your last meal, what restaurant would you eat at? Like, what would you get? Hmm. And basically okay. you're picking your favorites because you want to have it one last time. That is not an easy question. My Whoa. favorite meal is breakfast. So any of those, <laughs> the, hmm, we would be going to probably, we'd probably be going to character dining, maybe at, I can't even think of what it is. It's Chef Mickey's in the Contemporary. Mm -hmm. We'd be going there for breakfast and okay. we would be, loading up on Mickey waffles and biscuits and gravy. Mickey waffles and biscuits <laughs> and gravy. That's her last meal, guys. Hey, it's her okay, choice. She gets like, what just, she wants. Just the basics like sausage, eggs, bacon, Mickey waffles. Because her favorite thing is breakfast. Totally cool. And I Chef just... Mickey's is the last place and they're going to close it down. It's been condemned. They found Stitch in there. All right. <laughs> what is your last snack? Think of all the Disney snacks you've had. You can only have it one last time. What's it going to be? Mm. Oh no, I don't know if they do they do the um the different flavored churros at Disney World or is that just Disney a Disneyland World, thing? Disneyland definitely has them. Disney World sometimes does like a churro Sunday, things like that, but not flavored. Mm. We'll just do the basic churro then. Okay. I think so that's churro, my favorite. Man, favorite snack. Have, you ever had, have you ever had Kayla a ch uh, spring a cheeseburger spring roll? Yes, we've made them. To They're die, so for, to They're die so for, but They're so good. You made it, did it taste like the Disney one? No, <laughs> I can't stand when Disney does those recipes. Like, no. oh, here, make a dole whip. They they're not going to give you the exact recipe. Mm -hmm. They're be stupid if they did. No, oh, it doesn't man. taste anything like the one at Disney. Exactly. Thank they're God. They're so good right though, now. but they don't. They really don't. Oh, man, I want one right now. Oh, I can't even. Ugh. Ah, it's another whole story. Okay. <laughs> What is going to be, please, God, please don't pick Small World. What's going to be the last ride that you're going to ride on in Disney? Please don't pick Small World. Mm, okay. And remember, you, if you want to jump over to Disneyland and pick the Small World in Disneyland, I would understand why because of the characters in there and stuff. Oh, can I jump but, around then? Sure, do it. Okay. Well, if we're going to do that, then I'd have to change number two, but it's fine. Um, hmm. Change number two. What would your last snack be? A flavor churro? Probably the Fruity Pebbles churro. I've so never good. in my life heard of that, and it sounds divine. So good. <laughs> I have, like, a huge sweet tooth, so yeah. got to be that. It um, so good. My ah. last ride, though, probably Jungle Cruise, I think. Huh. I think maybe Jungle Cruise. Uh, really? Not, like, think, not Pirates, not Haunted Mansion? I wouldn't want to get rid of those. <laughs> but you don't have to get rid of it, but you're just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So she's kind of thinking like. I don't right, want to even imagine them cruise. going away. I'm going to go on the Jungle Cruise one last time and then uh, Bob it can go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Jungle Cruise. Got it. The last souvenir you could ever buy. Mm. Maybe you probably. Um, hmm. Spirit jersey, ears, pins, mugs. No one got enough of those. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what souvenirs they have. I don't think I like look at that stuff enough. Um, maybe Flush, uh, jewelry. Probably one of those. Um, you come home with. 
probably one of those paintings, like one of those really big, expensive paintings. Yeah. Dude, no one's ever said that. <laughs> That's probably what I'd come home with. Or like something like this thing from Epcot, this little thing from the China Pavilion from Epcot. It's like a little scroll. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if those, I'd come up with that though. I'd want something. Those a are fun. <laughs> yeah, probably one of those paintings, like the Thomas Kincaid's or something. Yes, Kayla. Probably oh, one of those. Atico. Got those it. Are good. All right. The last hotel you could stay at. So think, what would be your hotel <laughs> of choice? This is it. I'm gonna stay in this hotel. I've always wanted to stay here. Animal Kingdom Lodge, hands down. This is like the only you have, right? No. No, that yeah. is like my top number one place I've always wanted to say. In the premiere room with the drafts outside my window. Fan of you, got it. That's where I want to stay. All right, she's staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. For me, I'd be like Grand Floridian, man, yeah. But or the Polynesian with their bungalows, man. Oh, the Polynesian would be a good one, but I don't think I'm fancy enough for the Grand Floridian. I feel I would feel so out of place. You have, oh, let me tell you, when <laughs> first times I went to Disney with my, sorry, with my hillbilly, um, hillbilly family, I'm not going to say who they were because then they'll know, but I mean, they walked into Park Fair, 1900 Park Fair, um, you know where that is, right? You know, that's where Mary Poppins is and you have breakfast yeah. there. Oh my God. Willy Bobo shorts with their <laughs> socks pulled all the way up to their knees. I'm just like, oh God. My mom was, my mom, we call, we call them the boom booms. They're the boom booms. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And yeah, absolutely. That would be, you know what? You are not too, that place is not too good for you. I want you to go to Grand Floridian. So you're going. That's I it. Don't, setting it. I don't up. feel like I'm fancy enough. For that. Oh, you are. Do you, you drink tea with your pinky <laughs> up, right? Oh, you can just, oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> she's like, yeah. And well, well, right now she's like, the beer. Hold on. Don't do that. Guys. <laughs> All right, last hotel is Animal Kingdom Lodge. I'm loving it. What about the last character you could ever meet? Who would be that favorite character? You get that one more meeting with Kayla. Mm, probably Mary Poppins. Oh, I see a theme here. She loves that Mary Poppins. I do love Mary Poppins a lot. Mary Poppins, got it. And you get a picture with her, get a little selfie action, and then you can never see her again. Oh, well, I've never seen she, her in general, so I mean. You, wait, whoa. You haven't met her? No, I've like seen her like when they were bringing her away, but I've oh. never like got the chance to actually go and meet her. If she's your favorite, Kayla, that's when you have to make time. That's when you have to use one of Kayla's famous hacks. When you're in line, you wait for it. No, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, Kayla is super duper awesome. She is doing amazing right now. Mary Poppins is a great, great answer. Most people, Kayla, I'm sure you can already realize they pick Mickey. If I have to meet somebody for the last time, it's Mickey, man, hands <laughs> down. But there are so many good characters out there to meet. And Mary Poppins is one of my favorites as well. So the last park. Um, hmm. Oh, God. This is going to go with before. Are you going to Animal Kingdom? I was going to say Epcot, I think. I think I'm going to go to Epcot for the last time. All Cause right. Because I, I don't think I would be horribly mad if they just got rid of Epcot altogether. Um, so. I love the way you're taking this. I'm going to have my last <laughs> thing, and then it's gone because it's a good thing. It's gone forever. <laughs> You're supposed to be doing your favorite thing. That oh my god! I love I love Epcot. Okay, if we didn't have yeah. Epcot, we wouldn't have Figment, and Figment is one of my favorite characters of all time. So I think probably Epcot, because then yeah. Okay, I like it. Probably mm -hmm. probably Epcot, and then so you go to Epcot. Do, would you walk World Showcase, or are you just more of like a future world girl? Um, I think I spend more time in the World Showcase than anywhere else. I like the pavilions. I just like going around and seeing the stuff they have there. And I like the boats. What's your, what's your favorite? What's your favorite pavilion besides God? Morocco. <laughs> Morocco's not my favorite, but I do love Morocco. I just like the way it smells. I don't know. I like uh, Japan. I think Japan may be my favorite because I really like the gift shop. That, that's an awesome gift shop. <laughs> they have the best gift shop in Japan. So it really is. Maybe Japan or. Japan or the UK, maybe. I feel like UK. there's. 
I feel like the UK doesn't Maybe. offer you that much. It just depends on what I'm, it depends on the day, honestly. I guess if you're going drinking, <laughs> you can go into the bar, like Rose and Crown. Or if you're going to just like, just walk around for the scenery, you can go in that back corner with that whole little area that's supposed to be Mary Poppins coming up. <laughs> I think they, they cut that off with everything going on right now. I don't know. Oh. That's a tough one. But that, probably Japan. Uh, Japan's probably the best one, I think. Have you have you had how about the, that ice, the kakigori, or the that snow coney thing? I don't think so. No. Oh, good. I haven't we'll, had that. We'll we'll talk later. <laughs> you're missing out. You're missing. <laughs> I haven't had that. Oh man. Okay. The last movie. So this is a movie you're going to watch one last time. It's getting put away and it's taken off of Disney Plus. No one will ever see or hear from it again. But you have to you have to watch this movie one last time. What will it be? I don't know if this is. It might be Disney. Um, do you know the Walt Before Mickey movie? I think this one's called Walt Before Mickey. It's kind of like that? the movie of his life. Okay. It was, but I don't know if it's Disney. Well, it's Disney based. I don't know if it's made by Disney though. If not, if it is not, then I'll have to pick Saving Mr. Banks. Okay. So <laughs> if if she's allowed to pick this other Walt before Disney, then she's picking that. But she, mm. it's my show. I could do you could do whatever <laughs> you want, darling. Okay. You can pick that. But Saving Mr. Banks quite possibly one of the most underrated and greatest Disney movies ever made. I love that movie so much. Like, I think that movie is a step above Mary Poppins, but it's, yeah, it's up there. It's, it's basically Mary Poppins, but I love that movie like so much. The fact that they chose the most perfect <laughs> actor to portray Walt Disney, yes. like, Tom Hanks, he can do anything. Okay. You really can. He can do anything. And he just knowing it's a, I wanted to like I felt like he was Walt Disney when I watched it. You yes. know what I mean? I felt like I wish I could meet this guy. Walt Disney's really alive. Like, yes, I gotta go meet him. Oh man, that was the movie. I feel like people don't talk about that movie enough. That is one of my like all time favorite of all times, like not just Disney movies, just a great movie. Yeah, my favorite scene in that movie is when they're singing um, Let's Go Fly a Kite and P.L. Travers finally gets into it and her foot's tapping and then she starts dancing with them. And they're, oh, it was just, that scene was so heartwarming. I just love that movie. What's your favorite scene in that movie? I think my favorite scene in that whole movie is when she walks into her hotel room and she sees like the big Mickey Mouse dolls all over her room and she's just like shoving them in the closet and everything. I just think that part's hilarious. It's and just that closet is full. He like went out of his way to fill that room up with like totally plushies. Did. And I just thought that was funny. <laughs> he, he won her over though. He won her over <laughs> at the end. Oh, Diz Jabbers. It has been such an amazing night with our new friend Kayla in the kingdom. Guys, what you need to do right now is you need to go down to the description or you can just check out what I'm gonna put right up here and say, oh my gosh, there she is, Kayla in the kingdom. Please go subscribe. She is totally amazing. And you guys got really got to dive deep into her soul tonight with some of the stuff that we did. Oh, Kayla, there's always something I forget at this part. Oh, ah. I do. I, I remember it. This is called, but wait, there's more. Kayla, all vloggers and YouTubers have like a plan. Like next week, I'm going to do this. Next month, I might try this. You all, you're always trying to come up with new vlogs and new things to do. So this is your time now to plug your channel. It's your time to shine. Do you have any future things coming up that all the Diz Jabbers and your new fans are going to get a chance to see? This is your time Ooh. to promote yourself. I have a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Can't tell what it is. Oh no, that's like my next big thing is a secret right now. But right at this present second, um, we are kind of just taking, we're moving next year to somewhere great. Uh, so kind of just taking the time we have left here to explore the city and show off all those really cool things that El Paso has. Like places where movies were filmed and yeah. all of that sort of stuff. So that is really, I think what I have planned 
coming here soon. And hopefully, uh, if we ever figure out some new Disney hacks, those will be coming out soon too. I was just going to ask. <laughs> and what about those unboxings you do? You have to do more of those. I love them. Maybe. We might do some more of the snack ones because I think people really like those because I guess I make crazy phases when I eat weird things. So you never know. A no. lot of a right. lot of those are kind of hard to get right now, so it really just yeah, uh, I understand. Oh my golly. god! Ah, oh, alas, we have come to the end of the show, boys and girls. Please look, go subscribe on YouTube, Kayla in the Kingdom. But even better than that, go check out her Instagram at Kayla in the Kingdom. She posts some really cool pictures. Like, share them to your story, put her out there, promote her. She would be so grateful, I'm sure. And she has done an amazing job in this community. And Kayla, we love you. You're going, you're going to go places. And just know you found a friend in me with this whole connection that we have here. Oh my gosh. So Diz Jabbers, it is that time again. We're gonna do the kiss goodnight. And this is the first time I'm doing the kiss goodnight. I don't know why I've never thought about this. All, all my vlogs that I've done, I always do. I do a little thing like this, but for the show, I should call it the kiss goodnight. That's perfect. Kayla gave me that idea. See what she's got going up there, guys? Go check out her stuff. So from wonderful, well, dark New Jersey, Diz Jabber 71 Studios, we have Kayla from Kayla in the Kingdom. Christian, as you know, from Diz Jabber 71. And we are out. Good night, everybody. Hey, Diz Jabbers, this is Kayla from Kayla in the Kingdom, and always remember to reach for the sky. <laughs>